Hi everyone, welcome back to our devotion time. Today is August 28th and our devotion is The Protection of God from Isaiah 25 verse 4. For you have been a defense for the helpless, a defense for the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat. In Christ we are protected. We have a strong shield, a faithful defender, and a constant guardian. Many have mistaken this promise as a guarantee against pain, suffering, or hardship. When sorrows or overwhelm us, can we stay faithful to our protector? Will we inter interpret adversity as betrayal or embrace a protection that sometimes involves endurance? God's security shelters us according to what we need, not necessarily from what pains us. The storms will rage and the heat will blister, each in their turn and maybe for a long time. Can you believe that he is protecting you through it all? His hand is upon you, defending and sheltering you. Let no storm shake your faith in this beloved. Wow. You know, I, I think this was probably one of the bluntest, most harshly put devotions we've done in this book because it's really talking about the adversities we go through in this life, you know, and, and asking it, it's asking us to ask ourselves, are we ready to face those things we're going to go through in this life? Or are we going to turn on God and say he's betraying us? Are we going to embrace the protection that sometimes involves endurance? Are we, or are we going to shake our fist at God and say, why God, why? I said that to God one time. I stood in my garage in 2005. My son had been shot and almost killed. My husband had been in a, a car accident that had taken, well, we had both been in a car accident that had taken our vehicle that was brand new. Um, and then after that, uh, or this was before, but right after this, my husband was in another car accident that totaled our, our, another car we got. And there was just one thing after another, after another, after another. And if you heard me tell the other day about Job and how the Lord told me I bragged on you and I went through a season, a Job season in my life and it was years. It was years, you guys. It was from 2005 until 2000, um, until 2018 when I met Courtney. Until 2019 technically because we met right before the, the new year. And, you know, it was then that the Lord began to change my life and turn things around for me. And that, how many years is that? Um, from 2005 to 2019, that's what, um, 14 years. Yeah, 14 years of it. Um, and it was, it was, there was joy in there too, because I was worshiping God throughout all of it, you know, throughout much of it. But at the beginning of that storm, I gotta be honest with you, I stood in my garage and I shook my fist at God and I said, I'm a good girl, I'm a good Christian. Why is this happening to me, Lord? I didn't understand. I'd been serving God for, at that point, for gosh, probably almost 20 years. And I was like, I was a minister of the gospel. I was, you know, I was, I went through Bible college. I had lived my life, you know, close to the Lord. I was in the word all the time. I was serving in the church. I was serving God strongly. And it was just like an attack, a vicious, vicious attack on my life that almost destroyed us. And, you know, I understand when you, when you question God and when you betray, the adversity causes you to betray your faith even if it's for a moment. My daughter, when I came back in the house from that day, she looked at me and she smiled wanly and she goes, so mama, did you eat crow with the Lord and are you better now? Did you eat some humble pie? Because after I did that, I had to go back in the garage and I had to eat humble pie and I had to repent and ask God to forgive me. <laughs> and my daughter said, mama, did you eat some humble pie with the Lord? And I said, yes, I did. Yes, yes, I served myself up a big healthy portion. <laughs> but we go through these things. so. You know, God knows that we're going to. If you're going through a time in your life where you're saying, Lord, why are you betraying me? Or, Lord, why have you let this happen to me? Let's turn back. Let's reverse our, our gears. Let's go back and let's just turn around and get back on the right track. And let's realize that this life is not perfect. This life is difficult. I told you the other day um, on Thursday, I believe we were studying about eternity. You know, this life, we are not we are not citizens of this life any longer. We are citizens of heaven and we're going to go through things that really feel unfair because we're living righteous lives or we're trying to. We're, we're, we're striving for that every day, working out our salvation in fear and trembling. And when we run across things that just sideswipe us and it's like out of left field, it can be shocking, but we've talked about that. If you're studying the word and you're spending time with God in prayer and you're being taught and you're listening to the word and you're reading the word, 
you know what, you're going to be strong enough to respond to a situation and not react. And you're going to respond as one who is grateful to God, as one who's going to worship God. And, you know, it may take a couple minutes to get there, but you'll get there a lot quicker and quicker and quicker as you trust in Him and as you realize that He really is protecting you. Because even though the circumstances are bad, how much worse could they be if His hand was not upon you? That's something I have learned to stop and make myself realize. And even even in this situation with the house, I've had to have these moments where I'm like, okay, Lord, you know what? This could be a lot worse. This could be a lot worse. This could be a lot worse. Okay? Um, so be blessed and know that the Lord is protecting you. Okay? Let's, let's pray. Father, we believe your hand of protection is over our lives, even when things aren't going as we'd hoped. Our faith is deepened when we recognize that you're with us in the storm. And we grow and become women of God who are strong and forthright and who are able to stand up under any tempest and any storm that we face because we have you as our protector. We know you're surrounding us. We know you're covering us and that we can rest assured in that peace that passes understanding. We love you, Father God, and we give you praise and glory today for every moment of every day that we walk with you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow, and hopefully tomorrow's devotion will be more of a study together, okay? Thank you so much for your patience with me this past weekend. I love you very much. Bye-bye.